Most Beautiful Cities to Visit, London London is considered the capital of capitals. London continues to be one of best cities for the sixth year running. An interesting fact about London, that I bet you didn't know, is that it is the smallest city in England. That's right, the megacity that most of us know as London, is actually called Greater London, whilst the city of London itself is a small portion of this metropolis. It has a population of about 9,000 people, making it the smallest in England. Another interesting fact that not many people know, is that the Big Ben isn't actually called Big Ben. Tourists from all over the world come to stand on Westminster Bridge to take a selfie next to Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament, unfortunately, not one of them ever leaves with a picture of the actual Big Ben. This world-famous landmark is named the Elizabeth Tower, the bell that lives inside the tower is called Big Ben. So, you won't get a photo of Big Ben, but you might get to hear it. For a little bit of history on this great city, London was founded by the Romans and their rule extended from 43 AD to the 5th century AD. During the 3rd century, Londinium, the name given to the town by the Romans, had a population of about 50,000 people, mainly due to the influence of its major port. A great way to know more about the city and its history is to visit some monuments like the Buckingham Palace to and watch the changing of the guard, see the royal jewels at the Tower of London and walk across Tower Bridge, get cultured at the British Museum, get captivated by Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament, get creative at the National Gallery. I will also suggest a fun and scary tour like Jack the Ripper, this is a walking tour of East London. Learn the facts, conspiracies and mysteries of Jack of the Ripper. The duration is about 1 hour and 45 minutes. Or for a less scary tour, you can do a guided day trip from London to Windsor Castle, explore St. George's Chapel, and the State Apartments at Windsor Castle. Tour the mysterious site of Stonehenge. Take a panoramic tour of Georgian Bath, and the Roman Baths. If you prefer a shorter tour, you can embark on a big bus hop on hop off sightseeing tour of London by open top sightseeing bus, and explore London on a different way, you might see top London attractions including Buckingham Palace, Big Ben, and Westminster Abbey. This tour lasts about 2 hours and 30 minutes to 3 hours and 30 minutes. After an exciting day exploring the city, you might be ready to rest, some hotels that you might want to consider are, Hilton London Paddington. Set in a 19th century building connected to Paddington Station, this Victorian hotel is 0.9 miles from Hyde Park and 1.6 miles from shopping on Oxford Street. The average cost per night is $200. Also, the Mayfair Townhouse, by Iconic Luxury Hotels is a great choice. The Mayfair Townhouse is located in London City Centre, a neighbourhood in London within 9 minutes walk of the Buckingham Palace. You can stay in this hotel for about $400 to $500 per night. Or for a little more luxurious stay you can consider staying at the Savoy Hotel. Close to the bustling Covent Garden District, this luxury landmark hotel dating from the 1880s is an 8-minute walk from Trafalgar Square and a 14-minute walk from the London Eye. You can have this experience for about $800 per night. There is so much to see in the beautiful city of London, let's go travel.